Mina san konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the super popular Japanese 60 second all in one sabori no sheet mask. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel toroku shatte kudasai. I thought it was time to bring back some more J Beauty content since I feel like I haven't been talking about it quite as much lately. I used to do a lot more kind of one branded or product series content on J Beauty to kind of help you guys navigate through the complex um, Japanese skincare realm. Please like this video or let me know in a comment if you do want to see more of that type of content again. So ages back I actually talked about the Saborino sheet masks and they were actually in my best of skincare video of 2019. I recently watched this video back and man was I a lot slimmer. <laughs> But I have kind of started to see them popping up again on social media. So I thought, why not do a dedicated video on the types of sabori no sheet masks there are. Especially since I do think they're kind of the perfect product for this current summer season. Before we dive into the products, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about its brand concept and also what makes them so different compared to other sheet masks on the market. So the brand name Saborino that is written all over the packaging actually comes from the word Saboru in Japanese. So Saboru means to kind of slack off, be lazy. Um, they even use it when referring to like skipping class in school, like Gakko Saboru means to literally like skip class. So it relates to wanting to slack off a bit on your beauty regime to have a bit more me time, but still reaping the full benefits of a solid skincare routine. Hence why the sheet masks are also are only recommended to be worn for 60 seconds. I think it speaks to the fast moving kind of busy culture of Japan where people feel like they don't have the time to do a fully fledged routine. The original Saburi no mask which is this yellow one here is actually a morning mask. I feel like when most of us think to do a sheet mask we usually do it at night time right? But they release these masks to be a quick pick me up in the morning since it does only take one minute which should be shorter than most people skincare routine. They are also in a baby wipe type packaging so you can quickly pull one out, slap it on, once again appealing to that time saving concept. On top of that they say that it can be used as an all-in-one skincare product. So the morning ones say cleanse, skincare and moisturizing base in one. Then the nighttime ones say toner, emulsion, serum, cream and mask all in one. Personally, I do not use it as an all in one product since I do have dry and dehydrated skin. There is no way that I can kind of reap enough moisture from just a sheet mask. Personally, I also do not like the fact that on the morning mask it says remove the mask and straight onto foundation. Like no. You need to wear sunscreen. But if you do have oilier skin, you could probably use one of these in the morning and then slap on some SPF after and be done with your routine since it is pretty hydrating for just a 60 second mask. Another thing that is so appealing about them, especially to someone like me, is their limited edition and exclusive product ranges. They have so many different types. When I say so many, I literally mean so many, like I could not even count how many different types they have released over the years and every single new one seems more delicious and attractive than the last. I think most recently they did a collab with the anime Demon Slayer, so they had all the Demon Slayer characters on the sheet mask, like of course it'll make you want to buy it. They also release exclusive flavors depending on retailers, like they'll do ones where you can only get it at Loft or Plaza. Even recently they did one where they released a exclusive one per every big drugstore in Japan. So they had one where you could only get at Matsumoto Kishi, only at Eon, only at Donkey. Country themes like France ones, Hawaii ones. I think if I lived in Japan I would have a absolutely unhealthy obsession to try collect them all. Does no one else find it so amusing? <laughs> I'm like genuinely tired of talking about this. 
But yeah, that limited edition exclusivity, I have to get it now or else I'll miss out kind of um, concept makes it really popular too. Obviously, there is no way I could talk about all of the different types of sabori no sheet masks. So today I'm just going to be talking about the five permanent ranges that they've got currently on their official Japanese website. They generally come in two sizes. The bigger one that is more like a baby wipe container comes with 28 to 32 pieces and then they do also have a smaller bag that's kind of just like a ziploc more like a sampler size with five sheet masks globally the prices do seem to jump around quite a bit depending on who's selling it but the bigger sizes usually sell between 20 to 30 us dollars so it's still very affordable um about a dollar a mask or less and they obviously do come in a bulk package not individually wrapped which is also great the sheets themselves are a okay quality i never Never expect like super high quality from bulk pack masks anyway especially if you're only leaving it on for 60 seconds it's kind of a nice soft um, medium thickness sheet and the shape is kind of interesting I must say I would say it leans a little bit more on the smaller side of sheet masks at least for me especially around the eyes Alrighty, let's finally get into the actual product variety, starting off with the original Saborino Fruity Herb Morning Mask, which comes in the yellow packaging. This one is the OG, the first one that came out and pretty much the only one I see on social media outside of Japan, since it is the easiest one to get your hands on. The main purpose of this one is to hydrate, but also kind of give that pore tightening, skin tightening, refreshing feeling in the morning. So I have taken these directly from their official website, but the main ingredients that they highlight are um, orange oil and avocado extract for moisture. And then to help kind of give that skin tightening, smoothing feeling is peppermint leaf extract, tea tree extract, and grapefruit peel oil, along with malic acid as an AHA to gently exfoliate, hyaluronic acid to hydrate, cucumber extract to soothe, and then honey to moisturize the skin. The scent of this one is fruity herb is how they describe it it's pretty accurate um i would say that you can smell that kind of pepperminty menthol fragrance in there but it does have a bit of that fruity scent too they have also included a chart on their website comparing all the different types and it says that the most beneficial aspects of this one is poor care and also that fresh skin feeling most of them in the core range including this one does contain alcohol fragrance and menthol so probably not sensitive skin friendly although personally I do like that cooling sensation that menthol gives especially in the morning since it does kind of wake me up although the longer you leave it the stronger that feeling it gets so I would recommend to stick to that one minute mark this one does leave the skin lightly hydrated and I do feel like it does prep the skin well and has that subtle kind of pore smoothening effect I would recommend this one most for normal to combo skin types next I have the Saborino Mixed Berry Morning Mask. This one comes in a fuchsia pink packaging. This one, as it says on the packaging, is the Kou Hoshitsu Type, which means high moisture in Japanese. It still has that cooling and kind of pore tightening effect, but is a bit more moisturizing compared to the original version. The highlighted ingredients are pomegranate, blueberry, raspberry, and grape extract. And then they also do have peppermint leaf for that cooling effect, along with AHA hyaluronic acid, honey, and then lipidua and peach leaf extract in it. this one. The scent is mixed berry which it definitely smells very sweet of berries. Per the chart they have provided, this one is said to be a bit more moisturizing, has anti-aging benefits, and is supposedly a little bit more gentler on the skin. Although once again, it does contain alcohol fragrance and menthol. I would say this one is definitely more moisturizing, but I feel like it leaves a bit of that tackiness on the skin, which I feel like at nighttime would be okay, but it is a daytime mask. And I feel like that kind of tackiness can kind of interfere with my up application so I actually prefer the kind of fresher feeling mask in the morning compared to the high moisture type. This one is recommended for normal to drier skin types. Next I have the Saborino Botanical Morning Mask which comes in a white package. So this one's actually quite new to me. I didn't know they had this botanical range and it is supposed to help condition your skin but also be good for kind of breakout prone skin too. The highlighted ingredients for fighting acne is Hatomugi which is a 
absolute staple, it seems like, in Japanese skincare that is catered to oilier, um, acne-prone skin. Rosemary leaf extract, which is an anti-inflammatory, and then chamomile extract, which has many benefits to acne-prone skin too. The scent is of a citrus herb. This one is actually free from alcohol and oil, but still contains fragrance and menthol. Since this one is more for acne-prone and oily skin, it is light on the hydration, but leaves your skin feeling very fresh without any tackiness. On the chart, they claim that it is the best for pore care and fresh skin feeling, but it also says that it is gentler than the other two, maybe because it is alcohol free. As I said, if you do have oilier skin and feel like multiple layers of skincare is just a little bit too much right now in the summer, you could use this sheet mask for 60 seconds, feel hydrated, feel refreshed, and then finish off your routine with SPF, making it a super simple two-step routine. This one is recommended most for oily and breakout prone skin. Now moving on to the nighttime mask. First we have the Sabori no Chamomile Orange Night Mask which comes in the blue packaging. This one is supposed to be kind of like a medium level moisture since it does say Shittori type. As I said earlier the nighttime masks are supposed to be an all-in-one including toner, emulsion, serum, cream and mask. I don't know about all that especially for my dry and dehydrated skin it is a no-no. I definitely do have to add a couple more um, steps to make sure that moisture and hydration is sealed in. Although the highlighted ingredients are chamomile extract, lavender flower extract, orange oil and honey for moisture. And then again it does have that peppermint leaf extract for that cooling feeling along with those same ingredients like hyaluronic acid and lipidure for hydration. The scent is supposed to be chamomile orange which initially I was like what does that even smell like? But I actually really really like the fragrance. It definitely gives you that kind of relaxing at nighttime feels. And again, it does contain alcohol, menthol, and fragrance. As per the chart, it does say it is a bit of an all-rounder. And personally, I actually think it's my favorite one out of the cool um, Saborino sheet mask. It is hydrating, but has a little bit more moisture compared to the morning mask, but doesn't have any of that tackiness. So it works really well, even for my dry and dehydrated skin. This one is recommended for most skin types, excluding sensitive skin. And the last one we have is the Saborino Mild Night Mask that comes in a light pink packaging. You may have guessed it already, but I believe one of the reasons to why the Saborino Sheet Mask didn't become as popular globally is the fact that they do include ingredients like alcohol, fragrance, and menthol, which can be sensitizing to some people. As you may have noticed, um, Japan hasn't really demonized these ingredients as much as they have been in other countries, but they did recently come out with a mild version of their Saborino sheet mask. So this one is alcohol and menthol free. Unfortunately, it is not fragrance free, but the fragrance... Oh, it smells so good. They describe it as an aloe peach fragrance. I mean, it's pretty much just peach. But peach is one of my favorite fragrances, so I absolutely love it. So again, it is a quick and easy way to hydrate, but in a more gentle way and doesn't include that cooling feeling from the menthol. The highlighted ingredients in this one is peach leaf extract, aloe vera, and honey for moisture. They also mention skin conditioning ingredients like juniper berry and then also shiso extract, which is known as perilla leaves, along with those same hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid and lipidure. I did feel like these ones were fairly moisturizing quite similar to the chamomile orange ones um, except it doesn't have that cooling feeling obviously really well hydrating and kind of left my skin feeling mochi mochi so I would recommend this for sensitive skin types although steer clear if you do have fragrance sensitivity now I'm going to quickly go through how to use them as per the brand's recommendation super simple just pull out a sheet mask and apply as I said the eye holes are a little bit on the smaller side but they actually recommend stretching the mask out a little bit to the side when applying which gives you a little bit more room. After 60 seconds remove the sheet mask and then they actually recommend to fold it up and to swipe across or pat in the remaining essence. The brand recommends to move on to foundation in the AM after this although I obviously recommend to move on to SPF and then apply makeup after that if you are wearing makeup and then for the night time it does say just to go to sleep you don't have to apply anything else. Once again I personally use the as a regular sheet mask so I would cleanse my skin and then prep it with toner 
use the sheet mask and then after removal I would move on to my regular skincare steps like serum and moisturizer and then of course sunscreen if it is in the morning. It is definitely nice to have them around when you are time poor or just want to laze a little bit in your routine and it definitely does feel really refreshing and waste me up in the morning. They are definitely not your luxury kind of miracle working sheet mask but more something that should be incorporated daily or every other day although they have won over a hundred awards on at cosme that's what this little like label means it says hyakukamuri which means like a hundred crowns like have been awarded with at cosme and they have also sold apparently 500 million masks since their launch now i don't know if that means like 500 million packets or 500 million individual sheets but either way it is a lot and there is a reason to why it is so popular in Japan. Even besides their kind of regular core range, I do have a number of different types. I have the premium morning mask, which is one of my favorites and it's like white strawberry flavor. It smells so freaking good and it's really, really moisturizing. They also have the Tsukiri type, which is like a truly refreshing one, like really light on the hydration, good for oily skin. They've got the white type that is supposed to be good for brightening skin tone. They also have like hair and body care. They have this medicated sheet mask range. They also have their Otona Plus range, which is this one. And actually the Otona Plus range is all free from alcohol, fragrance, and menthol, like the whole range. So maybe I need to do a whole nother video, like dedicated video on that. So let me know if you want to um, see that too. The varieties are endless, but I hope you guys got a little bit of an insight into fudge sticks into these best-selling 60-second Japanese sheet masks. If you do want to watch any more Japanese skincare-related content, make sure you click one of these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.